Guys, it's real. SCP-076 is officially in the game. That's right, SCP Roleplay just released their newest update, and this update features stuff such as a new SCP-076 event, a new SCP, and more. Today, I'll go over the main highlights of the update, and also share my overall thoughts on the entire thing. And before the video begins, I just want to give a huge shout out and a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You guys are very generous and amazing people. So let's talk about the main attraction of the update, SCP-076. At the moment, this SCP is kind of similar to SCP-093, but it's more of an event SCP, not an actual SCP in a facility. And the way you would get to him is to enter this lift area over here. And at this point, you can either play solo, or maybe play with your teammates. And upon joining the game, we were met with these two people over here. They briefly gave us some background information and gave us instructions on what to do. Okay, remember I have my teammate with me here. I is that the SCP right there, bro? Dude! Bro, this guy's chasing me, that's so much HP! Bro. Are you kidding me right now? Avoid getting too close, dude, this guy's on me! Okay, what is this thing here? Oh, they're like teleporters, I get it now! Watch this, I'm gonna try to aggro him to me, right? I got you, teammate. Is by using this teleport thing here. Okay, I got one of these SCP-002 guys. Nice. I got away from him again. Yeah, so these red runes over here are basically your way of getting away from the SCP. Pretty much to distance yourself and heal yourself from him. Eventually, we were able to chunk down the SCP, and then this happened. I'm gonna go this way so that I can teleport there, right? Oh shoot! Um, I think we had to shoot these blue thingies. Bro! I think that looks we pretty much have infinite bullets, right? Ooh! That's Glock Gaming right there. I don't know, my teammate's still alive, he's still alive. So these blue thingies were some sort of shield we had to shoot after weakening the SCP. Which was kind of hard to do, because all these SCP-002 entities kept coming at me. But eventually, we were able to do it, and it was back to fighting. Oh, wait! He's vulnerable. I gotta shoot all of these guys. Someone just died. Yo, can I teleport to that? We have a good strategy here. Our teammate runs, and then this guy, and then I shoot this person. This is actually a really good strat. Oh no, thing falling. They gotta dodge this too. He's going like rage mode on me, dude. <gasps> There's nothing I can do there. Oh, here we go. Oh my goodness, I might die. Oh my goodness, I'm dead. The falling swords and also these guys are so annoying. Nice. I think we did it, chat. Oh, never mind. We did not do it. Bro! I have two more lives left. Oh, never mind. I have one more life left, dude. This is it. Teleport there. Very good teleport. Oh, shoot. I'm locked up now. He's so fast, too. Oh my goodness, chat. So apparently when you die, I think you just die. There, was, there wasn't like a spectating screw or something. When you die, it's over for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty sad. Right off the bat, I feel like the SDB has way too much HP. Or maybe the weapons are too weak. Or maybe I'm just trash. I don't know. But anyways, I looked for another game. This time with three players, including myself. And after entering the game again, and then going to battle, we had a much better result. Oh hell no. He's on me, right? Watch this though. That's a teleport right there. Shoot him in the head. That's a whole entire mag. It barely did 1% of the HP. This is the part where you just run. Yup, we just run, dodge everything. Oh, we have a crystal back there. Or whatever these things are called, the, the red runes.
Crap. Okay, I don't even... Honestly, let me just fast forward here. We weakened the SCP, shot some of the blue runes, and then dealt some damage to him. And this went on for some time. The whole thing it took 16 minutes to do, but then eventually, after weakening the SCP once more, we were able to defeat him. Let me just get close to him, he's about to die actually. I think we got this. Ooh! He's actually about to die right now. Ooh, he has 1 HP! Let's go! Yeah, for the room person, we teleport back to the roleplay store after the credits. So that was it, huh? Honestly, this mission's not that bad. But yes, credit to all these people here. So yeah, that was the SCP-076 event. And in my opinion, I thought the event was good. And let's go over the things that I like and the things I dislike from this event. So some of the things that I like, the boss fight. I kind of like how it's you and your teammates against the SCP. How you can see this guy's HP, it's like an actual boss fight. I also like the amount of special attacks this guy had, such as these swords falling from the sky. And one thing that I love are the mechanics revolving around the red runes. I can kind of shoot them, then teleport yourself. And also the environment was great too. I love the arena you fought him in. Now let's move on to the things that I kind of dislike. As said from before, I feel like this guy has way too much HP, or maybe our weapons are just too weak, and because of that, I felt like the fight took too long to do. So my suggestion is to buff the weapons to nerf the HP, and maybe decrease his moving speed by a little bit. But overall, I'm just happy to see the devs added SCP-076 to the game, and this might be a stretch, but I low-key want to see SCP-076 and SCP-093 both in the facility in the future, but I don't know, only time will tell. Anyways, let's check out the new SCP, which is SCP-316. Basically, this is some sort of lamp, and it's also a safe SCP. I was able to fiddle around with this SCP for a bit, and I was able to test on a class D. But okay, um, sir, um, yo, this person right here, yes sir, how's it going? Let's start this test here, come with me. We're gonna go through an events chat, we're going through an events, we're venting right now. Let's go, SCP-316, let's open this door here, and then walk inside. I think this guy's roleplaying with the SCP. Oh, apparently I discovered something. So yeah, someone just got exposed to the light. Yeah, honestly, I think just mess around with it. Because here's the thing, we already got a discovery point for if people are exposed to the light. But I don't know about like the material one. I think that's pretty much it for this SCP, this new SCP here. Which I think this SCP is not that bad. I, I wish they added like more SCPs like this, like some mini SCPs. But this is a start, this is a good start. Also, wait a minute, didn't Mobile Task Force get a new team or something? I might be wrong, but I don't think it's really here at the moment. Like, it's just these four teams. But yeah, for now, it's just like that. So let's move on to the miscellaneous stuff, and the stuff in the update that I found interesting. Starting off with this new change to SCP-008. Apparently, there's now an SCP-008-2 now, which appears when you reset as an infected with the SCP-008 virus, and I assume this addition is to prevent slash punish people from instantly resetting after getting infected, which I actually like a lot. So another cool addition is SCP-999. As mentioned in my last SCP video, you now have these healing indicators. And I think this is very useful just in case you think this guy's useless or something. And it looks like there's also another change to the chat logs here. You now see the timestamp. And as you guys can see, there are many other minor changes and also some bug fixes, which is always great to see. And that's about it. That's pretty much everything this new SCP-076 Able update slash events. Overall, pretty positive thoughts on this whole update as a whole. If you guys have another opinion, please let me know down below in the comments. And also, another huge thank you and shout out to all the YouTube members. I love you guys so much, and thank you for your generosity. Anyways boys, that's it for me. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like. If you guys didn't, please dislike. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.